Hi, thanks for uh, watching. This is going to be a quick tutorial on uh, how to create a uh, assignment or a question in Google Classroom. So when you're in your classroom, first thing you want to do is go to your classwork tab across the top and then click create with the plus sign here and you can choose either an assignment or a question. We'll do question first. It's pretty quick, pretty easy. So if you just wanted to propose a question to your students, maybe a warm-up, an exit ticket, or just in the middle of the class, you just do, hey, I got a question for you guys. Boom, you got a question. You just go plus sign question, and I'll, do, I'll just type an easy one. Um, what is 7 plus 2? All right. You can give additional instructions if necessary. You can assign points if you want to make this something that's worth points. For me, I'll just say ungraded. You can sign a due date, so if you just want to, like, for example, let's say uh, I want to put this in the class, and I want them to do it in the first 10 minutes of class, so maybe I'll choose the due date to be um, August 23rd, and I want them to do it no later than, um, I don't know, let's say, let's say class starts at 8 o'clock, so I want it due by 8.10 in the morning. You have until 8.10 to get this done. You can assign it to whatever topic you already have, so for me this would be like a warm-up. Um, you can also, here's the big thing, you can do short answer or you can do multiple choice. Short answer, student has to type the answer in. Multiple choice, obviously there's options. So one option could be like, I don't know, um, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So then the students would see um, all these different options and it's multiple choice. I always turn this off. Um, students can see the class summary, but you could maybe um, find a way to use that beneficial. Basically, it'll allow students to see kind of... Um, no, no, not a pie chart, but the results of the class as a whole. And um, I always turn it off for me personally. You can always add a link and add something from Google Drive, a YouTube video. Um, sorry, this is the link. You can add an attachment, PDF, whatever it might be. And then you just hit Ask. And then now it's going to go into um, the stream uh, up until that deadline, the due date. And the students can respond to the warm-up question you have. Let's just say I want to create an exit ticket. And my exit ticket is going to be an assignment. So create an assignment. First thing that's, that's pretty cool, and I don't think I mentioned it on the last one, is you can actually assign different things to different students. So if you're starting to realize that you have a di differentiated classroom, like I want these six students to work on this, I want these five students to work on something different, and the rest of the class I want them all working on something completely different, you can assign different work to different students. So they don't really necessarily know they're getting different work. But that's up to you how you want to go about that. For me, I'll just put down um, sample assignment instructions, please do the sample assignment and then and submit. For this, I'm going to make it worth, I don't know, 30 points. I have no due date. This is something I'll just put in there. Um, and I'm going to do it as an exit ticket. All right. Whatever you want. You have the option to choose how many points it's worth and so on. You can add an attachment like a PDF. You can add something from your classroom or from your Google Drive into the classroom. You can add a YouTube video, whatever it is you may need. So for me personally, what I like to do is um, let's just say that I'm assigning uh, some digital task cards that I have here. Area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids, digital task cards. I click add. Now they will be able to open this Google slide on the student end, uh, and that's where my assignment is at. Um, something else that I like to do, though, is I like to, um, to add videos that I think would be helpful to the students. If I do this, it reduces the number of times that students come and ask me questions. So instead of raising their hand, Mr. Williams, question. Instead, I usually try to think ahead of time and be very proactive and say, what are they going to get stuck on? So if this is area of triangles, parallelograms, trapezoids, I would go to YouTube, find a video ahead of time that I know has good uh, information that's going to not contradict anything that I've been saying, you know, uses the formulas the same way. So let's say I already went to YouTube and I found that video. You can copy the URL and paste it here. Um, or you can also search from in here too. So I'll put area, triangles, um, uh, parallelograms, trapezoids, and again, I, re I recommend looking at the video ahead of time. Um, make sure that it works to your to your needs. Let's say I've already uh, looked at this video by Math Antics and I like it. Just select it, add. Now, when the students get the assignment to them, they're going to see their Google Slides they need to open, uh, and then they're also going to see the video. 
It depends on how old your students are and how savvy they are with technology. My instructions here probably are not that specific. So what I would suggest is be very specific, very explicit. I would say please open the area of triangles, parallelograms, and trapezoids, digital task cards below. Um, please watch the video if you get stuck on any problems. Give your best effort. Please submit when you are finished. There you go. Um, whatever the instructions are, make it very explicit, in-depth, so that there's no confusion whatsoever. They know exactly what's going on. And then when you're done, you click Assign, and it'll assign it. Now, one thing you do have the option of doing is um, assigning it in the future. Um, like, you can set it to assign at a different time. I think my little video is kind of in the way of that. So let me toss me over there, and uh, let me go edit this. Sample assignment. Let me go back to edit. It wouldn't let me click over there. Um, Maybe I can't do it now because I had already um, assigned it. Here's what I'll do. I'll just create a real quick uh, assignment. Title, instructions. One option you do have is right here. You can click assign or you can click schedule. Let's say you're working on Saturday or Sunday. You know, you're trying to map out your week. You know this is the assignment you want to do on Thursday. They're going to have Thursday and Friday to work on this little project you got. Schedule, and you can choose uh, whatever day it is. Let's say you want to have it on Thursday the 30th, um, and you're going to set it to open at whatever. School starts at 8 o'clock, 8 a.m. Schedule. So you can also assign questions and assignments for very particular times, and it'll open up. From my experience, it, it opens right at its time. So if you have an exit ticket, you want your exit ticket to be the last five minutes of class, ten minutes of class. You don't want the students to see it at the beginning of class. Schedule it to open up at a specific time. In uh, my experience with Google Classroom, uh, it's, it's never failed me. So, all right, if you have any questions, uh, down below, just ask questions on the YouTube video. Um, I'll, I'll respond. So, thank you very much.